There are many mysterious phenomena in the world which are often impossible to explain from a scientific point of view. In such situations, people either blindly believe in the presence of supernatural forces or try to find a logical explanation. Over time, these stories are told again and again, evolving into myths and legends. However, to believe such stories or not is up to each of us. This story took place in the Far Eastern Territory in a dense taiga forest. Once a businessman from the region came there with his eight-year-old son. It was a business trip, but he brought his son because he thought it would be good for him to breathe some fresh air and see the local nature, if he only knew how it would end for the little boy. Early in the morning, the man left the house for a business meeting. The boy was still sleeping soundly, and his father did not want to wake him up. He planned to finish his business before lunch and then take a walk with his son through the forest. They were to go back home in the evening. But when the man returned home in the afternoon, the boy was not in the house, and no one knew where he was. The man raised the whole village to its feet. Everyone joined in the search for the missing boy. People carefully combed the forest, but there was no trace of the child anywhere. A few days later, the local ranger found the boy in an abandoned wolf pit. The boy was very scared and exhausted. For several days, he did not eat or drink anything. When the ranger pulled him out, the boy clung tightly to him. For several minutes, he could neither cry nor speak. Only when he finally realized that he was safe did he quickly whisper strange words. Big bear, wolves, scary, a lot, protected, drove away. To anyone else, this would sound like nonsense, but the ranger immediately understood. He looked the boy straight in the eyes and said not to tell anyone about what he saw. When the man carried the child out of the forest, the father burst into tears of happiness. He did not know how to thank his son, Savior. But the ranger, having handed over the child, said that he did not need anything and quickly went on his way. The boy did not listen to the ranger, and he told his father everything. That morning, he woke up alone in the house. Deciding that his father had gone into the forest without him, the boy had a quick breakfast and went to look for his father. Entering the forest, he quickly realized that he was lost. He ran around for a long time, calling for help, but no one answered. Then he fell into a deep hole and could not get out on his own. He was very scared. And then he saw a huge bear near the pit. He went to the hole, sniffed the boy, and sat down beside the pit. At night, wolves howled very close by. Their howl was so close and terrible, but the bear did not leave his side. When the wolves came very close, the bear drove them all away. He sat near the pit all the days until the ranger found the boy, but the ranger himself said that he did not see any bear. Then the locals said what kind of bear the boy was talking about. It turned out that several years ago, poachers came here. They killed animals without remorse, and the only person who stood up to them was a local forester. Once, the poachers were going after a she-bear and her cub. They had been shooting at the poor animals for a long time, and the cub began to noticeably lag behind its mother. The forester, having heard the shots, hurried to the aid of the bears. Unfortunately, the mother bear had already been shot beyond rescue, but the forester protected the cub with his own body. The cub managed to escape, but the forester was killed. After that, strange things began to happen there. Three years later, the locals began to see a huge brown bear in the forest, which, catching the poachers one by one in the forest, tore them to pieces. He did not touch any of the locals, but he actually helped them and protected them. So people thought that it was the soul of that forester who moved into that little bear cub that he had sacrificed himself for. And now he wanders in this forest and protects it from poachers. People said that it was this bear that protected the little boy from wild animals until the ranger found him. The ranger himself always avoided talking about that bear. Deep down, he was afraid that his excessive popularity would bring new poachers here who wanted to kill him. Therefore, he tried to prevent these conversations, protecting the bear from possible danger. Here is such an unusual story, which is hard to believe, but be that as it may, it still teaches us a lot. That's all, my friends. If you liked the story, click like and share it with friends. Bye, everyone.